Morning guys, and welcome back to my uh, little channel. Uh, this week, what I'm doing is I'm plunging into the dark and murky world of 4x5, large format film. And I've got an intrepid 4x5 with me. And I've only got one lens, which is a 150mm. And I'm just gonna do the sort of traditional thing start off with cheap film so I'm just going to use a, a box of Fomapan 200 and hopefully I can get out every day I've only got two film holders so I can only do four shots in a, in a, in a session so yeah that's what we're doing and uh, it's going to be a learning curve you could maybe learn from my mistakes <laughs> okay, so this one here is uh, F32 to 45, one second. Not the most exciting picture, I just want to see the focus really. Okay, this one's F45, quarter of a second, it's getting so bright, so fast. Last shot, that last shot of the day. F45, quarter of a second on the 150mm. Looked great through the glass. I've been wanting to take this photo on a large format camera for a long time. So I just took this shot here. The light is brutal. I really wish I'd stayed in bed today. And I've gone for, it was F32, but that came out at two seconds here. And um, that ended up at like 24 seconds of reciprocity on FOMA 200. Crazy. So uh, I'm not expecting greatness from this. I just like this little spot. So this is a, a test shot for a, another day, a better day. Okay, so let's just run through these as quick as possible. Um, I've scanned everything on a V600. I'll leave a link to the YouTube video that I watched. So V600, I'm having to scan half of the negative at a time and then splice them together using Photoshop. I'm getting some weird things though occasionally. I've just got a feeling that this sort of odd vignette thing is something to do with uh, the Photoshop element. Um, boring photo, very, very boring. I knew it would be. This one, pretty pleasing. Uh, once again, uh, as I said while I was sh making the video, I thought it was potentially a dull, a dull photo, but um, resolution wasn't bad. I didn't scan this at high enough resolution. Could have gone higher on it. Okay, this one, uh, lovely and sharp. Uh, that's a hundred percent. I don't think I'm going to win any awards for uh, creativity with these photos. I think I was pretty much absorbed with the process of using the camera rather than finding incredible images. Uh, this one here, the pier, this was like a, a depth of field test. Here you see another glitch there, that's something to do with the Photoshop element of splicing images again. Uh, nice depth of field though. All the images are a bit flat. I've had to boost the living daylights out of them in Lightroom just to add contrast. Okay, let's look at this one, image number five. I set this one up as a pano. I put some masking tape on the ground glass deliberately to help me compose the image. Uh, panos on the big camera is something that I always have in mind. It's probably something I'll be doing fairly often. Um, I got lucky really because if it hadn't been a pano this negative would be in the bin now uh, let me just boost up the light a bit 
and you'll see that up here I've got all this going on I don't know what that is I don't know whether it's bad development bad film handling or bad luck or just bad film but um, if I hadn't been doing a pano this one would would have been a goner yeah so hey ho I do like this um, I do love this redwood tree I'm definitely gonna come back and take some more photos of it um, it was very very hard light and I have no polarizer because I don't have an adapter for the camera yet but I'm, I've got I've ordered a Lee adapter so at least I can start putting some filters combining some filters with the large format camera uh, yeah super sharp nice look at that really sharp once again I had to boost boost the living daylights out of the contrast look at the contrast here it's on full um, if I took the contrast back down again which kind of gives you an idea of wh where I started it's just this sort of dull muddy flat look to the image so yeah that's better it's better with a bit of um, jiggery pokery but yeah I'm happy with that 